Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ernest with Uffix. And behind me today, we have a 2012 Dodge Grand Caravan, removing the TIPM totally integrated power module. And this can affect 2008 to 2020 Dodge Grand Caravan, but also many other various makes and models. And we're gonna be going over a hard battery reset, removing the TIPM itself, and then also doing the soft reset after we reinstall the unit. So let's get started. So in this vehicle, typically the TIPM is gonna be on the driver's side here, right next to the battery. And what we're gonna do before we actually even remove this TIPM is actually disconnect the, the terminals on the battery. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the negative terminal first, like so. So the next step after we remove the terminals off the battery is to perform the hard battery reset. And the way we do this is taking the positive and negative terminals and then using the zip tie or any kind of clamp to hold them together. And what this does is resets the electronic capacitors so basically, we'll have that doing a hard battery reset while we actually remove the tip -off. So while we have the battery terminals doing a hard battery reset, in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and remove this tip -off. You may or may not have a plastic cover going over this, and it just removes like so when you depress these two levers right here. And then this cover can actually just pop right off, like so. And this is the tip -off unit itself. To remove the tip -off battery post, it's a 13 millimeter. So we're gonna remove the 10 millimeter we use for the battery and install the 13 millimeter and get started. So the positive cable that goes into the tip is in this corner right here. Just put your 13 millimeter and remove. Once you have the washer removed off this battery post that goes to the tip there's an actual little clip that holds it inside to the bottom side of the battery tray and you can use a needle nose pliers or a flathead screwdriver to pry it out. And it'll make it a little bit easier to remove this cable here. So once that's loosened up, like so, remove it. And now you're ready to remove this tip -um itself. The next step would be to remove the actual tip -um itself going upward. And there's four tabs in total, two on each side. You can either use your hands or a flathead screwdriver to pry it up. and little clip is right here, you just press in between and just pry it out like so. So all the harness plugs are actually mounted upside down or at a 90 degree angle on this side of the wall of the tip -um. And it can be hard to see, but there's different kinds of plugs. Some are pulled down, some have a locking mechanism arm that you wanna release and pull down. So I'm gonna be showing you once I have it removed in close up what they look like. So to reinstall the tip on back in the vehicle, we recommend that you put the harness plugs that are towards the firewall uh, first because they're the shortest and hardest to reach and then work your way up this way towards the front of the car because the harness plugs have a little bit more play so it's easier to put them in. And then once all the harness plugs are installed, you're gonna pop it back into place into the bracket, reinstall the battery post and then put that nut back on 13 millimeters and you're all set. So the final step after you reinstalled your tip -um is to do the soft reset. And how do you do the soft reset? You put the key in the ignition and don't start it all the way up. You're gonna hear a beep about three times. And then after 12 seconds, you're gonna hear the fourth beep. And after that, go ahead and remove the key fob and reinstall it. That's the beep, remove it and reinstall. And what that'll do is reset any kind of syncing communication issues, whether it's the power locks, windows, the gauges, um, any kind of diagnostic lights, because without this soft reset, you might have a whole Christmas tree of diagnostic lights, or you might have a speedometer gauge issue, or the power locks and windows won't work after you do this. So the soft reset is really important to make sure everything is synchronized, paired, ready to go, and take it for a test drive and make sure everything works on your end. 
So after you remove your part, carefully package it and ship it to us. Our certified Upfix repair technicians will repair it and keep you updated every step of the way. Hopefully you found this video helpful and we'll see you next time.